Bob. Yo, I'm Bob. Totally blind since birth into Power Rangers. Going to be unboxing the first of the six Ninja Rangers. Now, I'm going to have to have some help with these because I'm told that all of their their hoods look the same. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to have the little helmet designs to help me out here, but that's all right. I should be able to tell by their head sculpts and once I bag them afterwards. So this is the white Ninja Ranger. Uh, how fitting that I selected Tommy from the six because he was the first one I got in the 90s when taking a look at them the first time around when I owned the old Bandai versions. They had action features. I think Tommy had like a mace, a spinning mace. Now, we didn't see anything like that in the show, but um, and I doubt we'll have weapons included with these at all. But uh, let's see what we get in here. Here he is in the package. Hopefully I got all the uh, the accessories, head sculpt, things like that. I'm not really sure what this stuff's supposed to come with. I know there were some there was some talk about not getting all the parts in terms of heads and things, so I hope I got everything. He came from Hasbro Pulse, by the way. You can still get those online, uh, I do believe. I wish they were available in more uh, online locations than just Hasbro Pulse. It is pretty tough to find these. I'm glad I was able to track down all six over time. So I'm going to pause this. We'll take them out of the package and get a closer look back in the blink of an eye. All righty. Tommy is out of the packaging and he comes with a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to try to make this as as short of a video as I can. But yeah, here's our White Ninja Ranger. So if anybody knows what the outfits look like in the movie compared to that of the TV show, uh, let me know because this looks exactly like the Tommy I used to have in his uh, ninja outfit from season three. Uh, anyway, I, I do believe, you know, it's a very nice uh, texture to it here. Certainly feels different than the spandex. I guess this is more uh, cloth and things like that. So I will say, um, in terms of his his mask, looks just like I remember it from the Bandai version. You know, everything looks quite quite similar. I think Hasbro's done a really nice job with uh, with with the sculpt here. So the old Bandai version uh, from, from the 90s, I don't remember these, um, these bits of cloth going down the back here, which is a really nice bit of detail there. You, you've got him, he's got his mask tied there in the back. At least I don't think it was on the old, uh, the old Bandai version. And of course we have a energy effect piece on the right hand. At least I think I have it on the right way. He's, he's uh, getting ready to throw an energized punch and since there's no audio description to uh, to the old episodes, I don't know what their powers were when they were in their ninja outfits. I think Kimberly was really speedy. Uh, maybe, I, th I think it might have been Adam or Rocky. They could make doubles of themselves. Somebody could grow really big. Um, let me pause this real quick. We'll take a look at some other stuff. All right, so we get this alternate head sculpt here. So I guess this is more, this is more, this is slightly more unmasked, slightly unmasked here. He's got his eyes uncovered, I guess. This might have been the the, uh, the way that the White Ranger had come out of the package back in the day. I don't know. I want to say his eyes were visible in the Bandai release. I almost feel like they were, but I mean... That was a smaller, a bit of a smaller action figure. I remember the attachment that you could fit onto one of his hands too. It was kind of like a, a claw, reminded me of one of Wolverine's, except there were, uh, I guess it wasn't a claw. It was more like a fork looking thing with two tines there at the end. So yeah, this is uh, the alternate head. We get some alternate hands, karate chopping hands here, man. 
quite a lot of stuff they packed in with with him. So yeah, I'm really going to need some help with uh, with what these different head sculpts represent. I don't know if they they had their hoods pulled back in the TV show, if this is a more movie accurate design, because you're talking to a person who had no descriptive audio tracks back in the 90s. So, you know, these different head variations to me are quite exciting because we never had this when we got the action figures uh, way back when. So I like the second head sculpt here. And let me just change these out real quick. Now here's the third head sculpt. Man, I love the variety that they packed into this. So this is Tommy and his, uh, well, he's, he's just got the civilian head here. Of course, he was portrayed by Jason David Frank in uh, season three and the movie. Now I really want to go back and uh, watch Ninja Quest parts one through four. As for, you know, which version of the Ninja Power obtaining I liked better, I think it's probably Ninja Quest, even though I loved the movie and watched it time and time again. Um, Ninja Quest is a lot of fun with Ninjor and Rito and uh, Vampirus. I still really like the movie too and wished Ivan had shown up uh, in the TV show timeline at some point. But yeah, I would give this guy a definite 10 out of 10 because you get three different head sculpts. You get karate chopping hands. Um, you get, you know, two different variations of this hood. You, you can't see it because the ponytail's blocking it, but you can actually have, um, you can actually have the hood attached to his, uh, to his neck as if he's pulled the hood back and uh, thrown the mask aside here. So, man, you can do a lot of things with the head sculpts and... <laughs> I don't know what all I can do because I've just, I've never seen this many head variations in one package before. So yeah, he's he's really neat. I like the textures on the on the outfit. I like the alternate hands. The energy effect piece is interesting. Just a really neat action figure, and I can't wait to get into the into the others. So I guess I'll hear you guys next time, and may the power protect you.